Hi, it's reading vlog time again and I'm about to go on a weekend away, it's Friday. Um, typically I've completely lost track of time and I'm now like rushing to get out the door to get my train. So me, Jean, Jen, Mercedes and Lauren are all going away on like a little bookish retreat. Um, we just found this little cottage in Suffolk and it was like one of the easiest things to organise. We just all happened to be free this weekend and it's really good, I'm really excited. Um, so we're gonna have a nice time. The idea is to be there, chat, relax, read, play board games. I mean, we're all being quite ambitious with the number of books that we're bringing. Like, how much reading are we gonna do? Are we just gonna chat? Like, let's, let's be honest. Um, but we'll see. So I'll show you the books that I'm packing, or I'm thinking of packing. So I'm currently in the middle of reading Virgin Envy for the Feminist Orchestra, um, which is a collection of essays, so I'm sort of half, nearly thir three, two thirds of the way through this. But I've also <laughs> want to bring like four extra books. I don't know how realistic this is. The first one is The Stolen Bicycle, um, which has been on my TBR for quite a long while, so I feel like I'd better take this. I've also got The Confession by Jesse Burton, which I don't know very much about, um, other than I just fancy reading it. And then I was recently sent these two by Vintage, which is The Night Circus, which I know lots of people have read and really enjoyed. And Erin Morganston has released a new book, The Starless Sea, which sounds really fun as well. I think this is about a boy who goes in a library and finds one of his own childhood stories, it, like written in this really old book, and it's like you go on a whole adventure. Um, so this sounds fun. And they're all quite big books, and I guess they're gonna go in my little suitcase. I absolutely love that I've been working from home today, and so I had loads of time to uh, organise my life, and yet I'm still rushing to leave the house. I'm just off to meet uh, Jean and Jen at Liverpool Street, so fingers crossed I get the train on time. You can see some things. It's sort of from the light of the car. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> so we're having a go through. Yeah. Let's see if we can find it. Oh my god, it's so dark. It's like it's the middle of the night. just been shown around the house by the owner. It was so, it's so oh nice. God, it's, lovely. it's so beautiful. Come and get in here. There we go. Oh, so, <laughs> I was coming around to your side. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> but me and Gina are sharing this lovely double bed. It's so also, I don't even know what we're gonna, we've only got one day, haven't we? Yeah, one field Tomorrow. Day. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh my God, I wish we lived here already. I love it so much. But remember, it's actually, the, the evening is very early. Yeah, that's it true. It feels later than it is. It's only half past six. Yeah. We, like it's dark outside. It feels like it's. So we've the got a long or evening to enjoy. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So we've all, um, all bought books to read. We've all bought board games to play. Um, <laughs> and then the guy, who, the guy who owns the house was like, "Oh, is this nice hall you can go to?" And I was a bit like, "That sounds really nice." Entertainment. Woo! Oh. <laughs> the party's officially started. Oh my god! Look how many games we've got. What oh, is this? Harry Potter Labyrinth. Oh, I saw Laura playing that. I really want to play that. Okay, well, we can. What's Harry Potter Labyrinth? What? Oh, hello. Oh, nice. Do we need to figure out the back? Yeah, I've done the. I've lifted it up. You need to use that. Oh, okay. Hand only. See that? Look at our snack corner, now our Tesco deliveries arrived. It's looking a lot more, a lot healthier. Yeah. 
he lived in a very large house with a housekeeper called Mrs. McCready and three servants. She's she, she made a beautiful <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at these. Uh, it's fine. It's <laughs> I'm taking it. I know the story. I'd like to point out. <laughs> the next sentence. <laughs> and everything. I know it all. Also, the, the next sentence is a bit unnecessarily in brackets because it doesn't need to be. Their names were Ivy, Margaret, and Betty, but they do not come into the story much. We know where the servants stand in this bit. <laughs> he himself was a very old man with shaggy white hair, which grew over most of his face as well as on his head. That's called a beard. <laughs> Oh, that's that's it's not the one, not the one. So we're yeah. doing oh, okay. oh, dear. Such a beautiful morning. We're having a little look around the gardens and the grounds and the fields because it was dark when we got here, so we couldn't sort of see how beautiful it <laughs> The beagle. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god, aren't you the most beautiful thing ever? You know, sweetie. You die. <gasps> no. Oh my god, you're so soft. We're going to go to a place called Wiccan Hall, which has beautiful grounds and stuff. I think the garden is closed, but apparently there's a really nice restaurant and a farmer's market. So that's what we're going to do. Oh my God, the light. Ah, there we go. Oh, the labyrinth in the front, <laughs> looking at my dog. Woo! Oh dear. Okay. Are you ready? How much reading have we you done? We're very festive. Oh yeah. Ready for it together. I've read two books. You read I have books? started. I started Heartstopper and I've read about 100 pages. You were reading what, this morning when you cleaned well, your teeth. Oh my god. You're washing your teeth. Friends. Hello. New hair? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's really nice. I felt like it would be offensive not to buy it. Oh no, <laughs> that's what boyfriends are for though, right? Like that's all my dating app because like, outfit, outfit of the day, outfit of the day. We thought we'd better do some reading because that was like the idea of the weekend. So what are we doing? I'm reading Virgin Envy. 
Ooh. This is our feminist orchestra one. Jean's going to start reading it as well, so we're going to have a little go at that. What I'm are you going to read? Gonna read? Um, I'm reading a graphic novel called Heartstopper, mm. um, which I'm about 100 pages in already. You saw me reading it while I was brushing my teeth this morning. Um, <laughs> It doesn't take very long to read the old graphic novels, particularly these ones, which are like a lot of picture, not much chat. No, so you can just like absorb. I it think it will be done today. Oh, okay, that's good. Which is impressive. <laughs> have you you bought some other books? How many books have you bought? Three. Because I bought Three. the second volume of that, and then I've bought Queenie, which everyone oh, yeah. else. Oh everyone's bought. bought Queenie. Yeah. I already read Queenie. But was yours the pink? Oh, Mine was the blue one. Oh god. Because really nice. I didn't know what colour I was getting. I was like, oh, it was oh no, I just saw it in the shop, and I was like, oh my god, a blue one. Oh, so I got that one. So again, we've just come back from the hall. We were walking around the gardens. Wicken Hall. Wicken Hall. But the, it wasn't open. But we'd had a little walk around. Yeah, the gardens okay. would have been lovely to go it to. It would have been really nice. We'll come back another time. I think we're going to come back here every year. I think. I think so. We're in this very place. Um, so we've got the fire on, we've got some lunch on, and we're going to get snuggled up and do some reading. I'm going to have a wee first. Oh, enjoy, enjoy it, enjoy. We read for about, I think it probably was an hour, but yeah, actually we probably read for more than like half an hour because Jean was just like bah, 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 talking about your book. <laughs> no, I'm not in, kept disrupting so fast you did. Oh that's true, yeah. She but did. I did, there was some funny I'm stuff at this. <laughs> we went to Wick, Wick, Wick and, oh, Wick and Hall, so Wick we went to Wick and Hall obviously beforehand, we bought some things and then we went to Stone Market and went to loads of charity shops. So we thought we'd do like a haul yeah. <laughs> as part of the thing. I know. So, so Joe, your video's gonna be way better than mine. Uh, it's, it's gonna be very long. I think that's, that's what's gonna happen. Um, so what did so you get, Chi? I got some Suffolk brewed gin. It's called Flint and Harding's Suffolk Gin. Lovely. Um, and this, oh, really freaking, this is a Damask gin. It's not for me, it's for my mum's Christmas, but I thought it was a nice wee like, local thing to pick up. Do you know we should be doing this in front of the fire? They're like, that fire oh. looks really nice down there. But... Quick, scene change. <laughs> no, it's okay. all right, it's too late now. <laughs> um, and then I bought these, I bought these candlesticks <laughs> from that shop, because I thought they were so nice. Yeah, I love them. And then I got these like, orange, Candles to go in them, which I think that would be lovely. I think that's gonna be so nice. I did text Will a picture of these, like, What do you think of these? He's like, Yeah, they're okay. And I was like, I'm buying them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's too late. You I'm don't buying see them in person. You yeah, don't understand. I think these are gonna be really nice in person. Oh, I, I think, think they're, yeah, they'll really make so. your table. Yeah. Lovely. And then what did you get from the charity from shop? From the charity Jean? shop, I've got you got many, things. many things. So, so I'm on the 90s trend. <laughs> I've got a bucket hat. It's nice, I like right? It. It's really like fleecy. Yeah, as and it well. was ninety nine p. It'll keep me nice and warm. Oh, I'm in the market for a black fluffy bucket hat because I want to relive my childhood. But this, in the meantime, will do perfectly well. I got this little blue card again. The same colour. It's an M and S colour. Almost. Okay. Similar. It looks more <laughs> similar on camera than it is in real life. Yeah, true. A little, little blue card again, nice. which is nice. Have you got card as I well? I did get a card again as well. Uh, ah! Oh, look at it! It looks so good. It's like a rainbow. I'm actually really jealous of this cardigan. I, I think it'll be nice. fun, right? I really like particularly this shade of pink. I yes, yes, nice. I agree. I really like this shade of pink as well. I think things in that shade are very nice. Um, so I just, yeah, just me rainbow. I feel like I've seen people in this and thought that's nice. Yeah. Um, and I also got this, which was so I think that was like five pounds. This was two pounds though. Sparkly turtleneck. How could I say no? Christmas sp sparkly top. So there you go, that was the haul. <laughs> it's not really a reading vlog this, is it? It's more just like a weird combination of us we talking nonsense. We talk nutsense. about our thoughts on Virgin Ambition. Should we do a feminist orchestra video? Yeah. <laughs> Many feminist orchestra inception. Do, 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 do. What did you think of the first essay? I think this is quite academic. That's, yeah. my, that's my thought. So I'd started reading this before we arrived. Um, so all the books that we bought, not read any of them yet. Oh um, yeah. But, it's quite like, I think the essays are really interesting, but they're yes. very, 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 very specific. Yeah. So if it's something you're interested in, then they're good. But if it's about something you don't understand, then it's yeah. like, oh, I don't want to read the whole essay, basically. A lot, actually, most of it's sort of about art and culture, isn't it? Like, it's about literature and television and film, mm. from what I can see. So yeah, it's it sort is. of like, almost if you were doing like a literature degree, you might read this for a essay you're writing. I am tired. Are you? Yeah, it's I think I'm having. You know what? I'm really having late. a sugar come down. Jen's currently in the kitchen slaving away, making us a pie, yeah. leaking mushroom, and 
I don't know what else, but really nice. Yeah. And she was like, no, I'll do it. Like, we did offer to help and she told us not to. She'll think she wants to see. Um, <laughs> I, I think we're more of a hindrance, really, aren't we? Lauren's having a bath. Mercedes is probably upstairs she did. Who knows? Who knows? We've lost everyone. <laughs> <laughs> just us one by just one we dwindled <laughs> I might I might read a bit do you fancy reading a little bit I, I'll get my glasses off we can off. talk if you want no, but no. <laughs> I've got nothing to say I'd quite because I feel like I'll just have one more also if you're here I feel like I can just uh, talk to you about it oh yeah that's true so it's yeah. okay oh, hi nice. yeah we're doing nothing. like a haul we, we did a haul do you want to join mm. I was just going to say I forgot to put these out for lunch with the dips if you guys wanted something like healthy <gasps> there's peanut butter I want peanut butter and celery it's not healthy well, you want food now. I'm just about to have How long is the pie? Two hours? Oh, oh. oh. I'm selling you peanut butter. I'm going to get selling you peanut butter. Ramen and chalk. Ramen. Okay. Um, so, so you would have a, a big scared dog. Yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You have to take your birth month, your favourite food, your surname initial. So, big scared dog. Yeah, Gee, what month are you born? Okay. These are um, very you few questions. A clever, grumpy raven. Yes! Oh, that makes so much sense. I think you do have a clever, grumpy raven. Because I love birds. When I went I to, think that um, is your demon. When I Lauren, went to the... April. Oh, it's a tour of London. I and your favourite food? Would you like me to go over the no, options? Pies. 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 I already knew. Okay, you would have a small, lazy... Yes. Spider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hi, welcome to Board Games with Lauren. Today we're playing Labyrinth. I've got to be Slytherin because Lauren is also a Gryffindor. All Laurens are Gryffindors. finished Virgin MV. Yes, so I don't feel so bad that I brought loads and loads of books because I can now move on to one more book but we have not read very much, let's be honest. Um, we're just having a bit of a lazy morning today. Um, my train is at half two I think so we're playing some games, having some reading um, and then going home. It's been really nice, it's been really relaxed. So I think, I'm not sure when I want to start reading maybe the night circus actually i feel like that might be quite a good one and um oh jean lent me this as well so i'm actually coming away with more books than i started with <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna try i'm gonna try night circus i think Fajitas for lunchtime. This is the vlogging, lugging, the vlogging of lugging, Jean. Lugging, lugging, lugging. <laughs> Everyone's going to enjoy watching two videos of exactly the same weekend. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> We're having one more game. One more game before I have to go. Map on my nose. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretend like you're having a nice time. <laughs> 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 you know, I wonder why you're fighting. Uh, you need to know your game. Right. Right. Baltic Sea. Estonia. Mm. Estonia. Latvia. I'm back. I feel like that was a very choppy, random vlog. I don't know what that's gonna look like. Um, but it was a really, really nice weekend. So cozy, so autumnal. Our cottage was like, was beautiful. We had such nice weather. Um, and I'm feeling all like warm and squidgy after that. I did obviously not get as much reading done. <laughs> All these grand plans for reading like five books didn't happen, but we did do quite a lot of reading this morning all together, um, which was lovely. And I got to read a little bit more of the night circus. Can't see there it is um, on the train. So I'm really enjoying this book actually. I didn't know that much about it before, and I think I've heard quite mixed things about it. But I'm really enjoying the writing. I'm really enjoying the world. It's about to magicians essentially it's sort of set in victorian times but it's um where these there are some people who actually can do real magic and they make a wager about two sort of children so there's a magician's daughter and an orphan boy i think i don't really know what's going to happen but it's like there there's a contest between them or something and sort of different timelines are coming they're both working in this magical crazy circus that only pe only appears at night and I'm really liking it, really enjoying it. It's um, exactly the kind of thing I was in the mood to read. I've been in such a cozy autumnal sort of mood um, since this weekend away, and we were listening to Christmas music um, <laughs> for the first time for me this year. So I'm, I'm kind of right, I'm right in that mood at the moment. So I'm trying to find really crappy uh, Christmas holiday films for me to watch, um, just to just to ease into the evening. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my weekend and. I'll see you in another video soon, I'm sure. Bye.